Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. So I saw this application done by uh, Chris Belling and his team. Uh, I'm going to show you here. It's about like dynamic aperture and it's kind of a kinetic movement uh, kind of thing. So it can have, um, I don't know, like applications in uh, Windows or something like this. Uh, in the video, it shows the output of the work on Grasshopper. It doesn't show the definition itself or the uh, script or algorithm, let's say. Uh, so now today I'm going to show or share with you how to do uh, that on uh, Grasshopper. So as you see, I have um, like uh, output similar to what we had there, even with uh, the ability maybe to make it uh, bigger or smaller as we need. So I'm going to walk you through this uh, step by step so we can understand how uh, it works. Uh, this is only like one way of it. I don't know. There can be other uh, ways to create such a thing. So let me start with um, this one square. Uh, the main idea was, as we saw, uh, is to all of these squares which are connected to each other with their endpoints. So uh, I took this uh, square with which, which has the center of zero. I did a rotation for it and linked the rotation to this uh, slider. I gave it, it works now as uh, degrees. And I took the output of that thing and then after that, take the endpoints of uh, this rotated square. So uh, now from each one of these. Uh, endpoints as you see I have uh, like an index list item so I take the first one the second one and so and from each one of these points I create uh, let me show I create a new square which is started from that point uh, so the only thing is uh, if I can explain like this only thing is Let's say we, let me just fast do such a thing. Uh, let, if this is my square and I have these points as my main points, if I want to create a new square, so it will create this out of this point and this out of this point and so it will recreate itself out of this point and someone else here. Uh, so let me show it maybe clear so if I maybe take this to 90 and choose all of these this is the uh, output as I said but what I need is to take this square to here so I'm moving it from this point to this point so the new one will be here and I'm taking this one to here so I want to move my uh, squares on the outside of uh, the edge let's say of the main or the central square and this one can stay at as it is so that's what I did I hope <laughs> um, I hope this is uh, understandable sketch so yeah this is the output this is what I did so I moved this one let me choose this one too yeah I moved uh, this one to down there so according to the main or the let's say um, central square we have it now here at its corner we have the other one at the other corner, the other one, and the fourth one. So this is the main idea that we uh, wanted to create. Now, when I rotate the first or the central, uh, the central square, as we see, all of the others move along with it um, to create this movement that we want. Yeah, this is like pretty much it. I redid this uh, definition. I maybe grouped it and create, just like repeated it 
several times until I got what I need. So let me show these ones here. After that, these other ones, these, these. Uh, what I did there is when I create a square like this here, I take I take its endpoint and I take only one point, which is uh, the outside uh, of that square and redo the whole thing uh, from that point as a center. So just creating another central uh, square as we do and rotate it with the same rotation uh, number that we have in the slider and creating the other uh, four, as we can see, uh, other four squares out of these points until we have the last output that we have. So this is pretty much it. I hope this uh, this was kind of uh, understandable or uh, I uh, make it clear. Um, if you want me to share this uh, definition, uh, maybe write me, I will do that. And thanks for watching. Have a nice day.